called me last night and he was like, hey. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's actually me from the future. This this video was actually recorded, I think like a week ago now, at the time I'm re recording this clip, and I, I got a microphone now. So let me know how this sounds too. The, there should be an unboxing video coming in a couple days by the time this video comes out. So, but just wanna, I just wanna say, how'd you like my little April Fool's joke on episode three of season three, episode three, Game of Thrones? Did you guys like it? Now, I just want to say that, like, okay, I didn't actually sit there and, like, say nothing the entire time. What I did was I just recorded it, spoke normally, and then I edited it, and I edited it, I edited it, like, normally how I normally would do it, and then, then, like, okay, and then it was, like, March 28th, and I got the, then, like, yeah, then it was, like, March 28th, and then I was, like, I, I kind of want to do something for April Fool's. And I was like, what can I do? And I was like, oh, I get all these comments and people tell me to shut the fuck up. So I was like, okay, I'll just do that as like a little joke. So yeah, so what I did was I just took the clips and I just cut it right. So like after I edited it, like normally, all I did was, so I edited it like in the normal way I normally do it. And then I just cut the clips as soon as I started talking or as soon as I stopped talking and just took out the audio part of me talking. And then I just slid the clips over to where I'm just sitting there like this. You know, because believe it or not, I don't actually talk the entire time for the entire video. So, yeah. So, so let me know. Did it get you? Did it not? And like, and like, yeah, since I got the idea like last minute, I probably should have made it like a little shorter, to be honest, because like it was an 18 minute video and I probably should have like subtly put in like the Rick Roll music or whatever, like just subtly in there. So you guys, so it would be, it would have been like a little easier to catch on to a lot sooner. Cause like, yeah, I do feel kind of bad for like everyone who I like got like 10 minutes in before realizing it. I'm sorry. I didn't really mean to waste your time. Um, you know, I figured after like maybe three minutes, you guys would be like, what the fuck? He's not saying anything. And then like, maybe you would have skipped through the video and be like, he's still not saying anything. And then skip a little bit more. He's still not saying anything. And then maybe get to the end of the video and see like what I put at the end. Cause I was like, what's the date at the end? And then, yeah. And then I also caught, I put a pinned comment. Oh, what's today's date? So I don't know. So yeah, I probably should have made the video a little bit shorter, but let me know if I got you or not. And and yeah, I probably won't do that again, so don't worry. But anyway, back to today's video. Some people are built ordinary. You are built different. Yeah, we've been doing that. Anyways, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are watching Game of Thrones Season 3, Episode 4. Now, in the last episode, okay, the only thing that happened in the last episode, Jamie got his fucking hand just cut off, his right fucking hand cut off, and I was like, holy shit, like, I was honestly pretty shocked, you know, because, like, I didn't think they would do that to him, <laughs> like, I thought at the most what they would do is just, like, okay, not gonna lie, I who the people that captured him, I thought that like Jamie was like convincing them, like oh yeah, treat him well and you'll get paid, and like I thought they were falling for it, but no, I was the only one fucking falling for that. And then they were basically just like, okay, come over here, we'll give you a nice good seat. Yeah, psych, bah, cut his hand off. And okay, like dude, he didn't even like realize his hand was cut off at first. Like it was right here, chink. He, he kind of looked at it and he was like, oh, fuck. You know, like, that shit's gone. It's just gone. You know? And, like, I already edited that video, so I have rewatched that episode. So I've seen it twice now. And, like, I didn't mention this in the last video, but, dude, honestly, I think Jamie would have rather have lost his eye than his hand. Because, like, you know, you're fine. Because, like, the dude was, like, had a knife and was, like, poking him in the eye with it a little bit. Just teasing it. But, like, I think you'd rather lose an eye, if I'm being honest. Because, like, you, you can still fight pretty well. Because you have both hands. But now he's going to have to get, like, I don't know, a prosthetic or something. Like, whatever they can fucking do about that. Give him a Captain Hook hand, you know, something like that. Just so he can at least, like, hold the sword with two hands. 
But he, no way he's fighting with just his right hand, you know? So, sucks that he's right-handed, too. But, anyways, what else happened was... Okay, so, Daenerys... Or Danny. Oh, honestly, okay, I'll be... When I first started making these videos, and you guys referred to Daenerys as Danny in the comments, I was so fucking lost. I was like, who the fuck is Danny? You know, so I look up Game of Thrones, Danny, and I'm like, oh, they mean Daenerys. Okay. So, she got her... She... Voice crack. She got her army of 8,000 slaves, right? But she gave up a dragon for it. That, that's not worth it, in my opinion. Because it's like, a dragon, I would say, is probably, like, I'm going to say worth, like, 30k people, you know? What, a dragon can literally just fly over everyone and just breathe fire and, you know, lynch an entire fucking 30k people. I, th I don't know if that's realistic or not, but... A dragon's pretty OD. And three dragons, that's pretty damn OD. You know, like, I don't even think 8,000 slaves plus two dragons, that might not be enough. I don't think 8,000 is enough. Because, like, you know, like, thinking of Rob's army and thinking of Tywin's army, bro, they're like 100,000 people. You know? And, like, I don't think they're 100,000 exactly anymore. I know they've lost some people, but, like, still, like, regardless, it's fat. Like, 75k plus, at least. Yeah, I don't know as of right now how big their armies are, but they're at least 75k each. So, fat armies. You know, also, I know I normally pour a drink in the intros, but I feel like I miss a lot of shit, because I'm like, I'm not, I'm not drunk, but I'm like, buzzed. So I'm just like, I'm vibing, but I'm not, I'm not doing a great job of paying attention. So, I'm gonna do this episode sober, and we'll see how it goes. <sighs> For YouTube, I'm going to be honest, I am two episodes ahead because I have two episodes for early access on Patreon. Shameless plug. But, so, I just posted episode one of season three. And, okay, I know, I know I called Marge naive, okay? I didn't, like, I didn't mean, okay. I'm sorry. I would like to take that back, okay? I would like to... That statement left my mouth, and I would like to grab it and retract it, okay? Because I don't believe that anymore, especially in episode two, what she did, you know? I forget if it was, if it was episode two or three, exactly. I'm pretty sure it was episode two, though. And she played Joffrey pretty damn well when he was like, what happened to Renly, you know? She did a really good job, good job of playing him. So, yeah, she's playing the Game of Thrones, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, and like her her visiting a charity, that's just a publicity stunt. Like she fuck them kids, you know. Okay, not really, but like you, you know what I mean. Okay, maybe he, okay, here's a thought. Maybe Daenerys was asking the translator, Hey, are you sure these guys are gonna obey me? Like, um, I wanna triple check if they're gonna do everything I say. Are you sure they'll jump on their swords if I tell them to? Okay. Uh maybe she's gonna turn the eight thousand unsullied on that misogynist whatever his name is onto them and get her fucking dragon back i just i cannot see her leaving the dragon behind i think she gets the dragon back if i'm being honest i think she does okay and also mance did say he's gonna send his boys to go climb the wall and then he's gonna light the biggest fucking fire thrill has ever seen because they did okay so they found a bunch of horses heads cut off and they pretty much, I'm pretty sure that was the White Walkers. And I'm pretty sure that's what they thought too. So then Mance sent his boys to the wall. And he's like, go climb that fucking wall. And I'm going to send you the biggest fucking signal this world has ever seen. So, yeah, we'll just see what happens with that. Um, any prediction I have, it's not going to be accurate. So I'm just, just not going to bother. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to hop into this episode. And if you want to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two episodes will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. She loosened you up for us. <laughs> no, he's, he's... Oh, they put it around his neck! Dude, they put his hand around his neck? Holy shit. And he fell off the horse. Dude, that's okay that's fucked up putting his own hand around his neck that's so fucked that's so funny though <sighs> do 
Yeah, they're just bullying him. Good. Can't say that I've ever seen a man drink horse piss that fast. Oh my god. Dude, they're fucking just bullying him. <laughs> oh, he got oh, he grabbed their sword. Okay, Jamie, can you still fight? I doubt it. Yeah. Not against this many men to yeah. Uh, ooh, come on, Big B. Damn, she feels so bad for him. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling he was going to try some shit. God, that's so brutal to see his hand around, oh, around his neck. Perhaps this is the wrong time. Oh no, it's a wonderful time. I thought one of you little birds might have knowledge of my sister's intentions. And your life. <laughs> yeah. The fingers spies along with his position, I'm afraid. Which is why I'm coming to you. I need proof. Proof? Okay. Give me a trial. I need to... With a hook to blade, he sliced me, root and stem, chanting all the while. He burned my parts in the brazier. The flames Damn. turned blue, and I still dream of that night. Yeah, sounds traumatizing. The rock called, and a voice answered. And ever since that day, I have hated magic and all those who practice it. But you can okay, is that like a, um, like a hint? Against Stannis and his red priestess. Yeah, 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 against Melisandre. And soon learned that the contents of a man's letters are more valuable than the contents of his purse. Very true. World where I managed to wrap them around something very special. What, what are we looking at? Sorcerer. Oh, what the fuck? Hello, my old friend. All right. It's been a long time. Yeah, it has been a long time. Okay. But that the revenge you want will be yours in time. If Damn. you have the stomach for it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Damn, what fucking timing, you know? That's probably why he went on that story about the sorcerer, because he was in the fucking box. You know? But that's true of very said about it doesn't matter what he has in his pockets. I want to know what's in his letters. So I can know more. And I can manipulate whatever I want with that knowledge. Very smart. Very smart. So, okay. And Tyrion, basically, you know, he wants to get... He wants proof that Cersei tried to have him killed in the Battle of Blackwater. And, you know, it's like, well, Varys is like, look, that's just what my spies told me. There, There's no written proof. So, you know... But okay, and then, yeah, they're gonna use the sorcerer to get back at Cersei. Okay. When the walkers come calling, Cruster will serve us up like so many pigs. Bro, this guy's so negative. We'll have to look out for ourselves. Yeah, I'd probably be this negative too if I lived in this fucking time. Like, imagine not having, like, a phone. Or, like, internet. It must, must have been horrible. It's beautiful. Yeah, he's gonna die soon. No. Are you going to give him one? What's Why? the point? He's gonna be dead in like an hour. It's fucked up, but... I want to save my baby's life. Can you do that? Can you? I mean... I'll try. I don't have time for anyone but him. Because he doesn't have much time. Yeah. As soon as a fucking dude finds out, baby's done. You have to go after him. How? You know how. Climb. You know you know how to climb. Yep, there you go. Brandon. Hello. How many times have I told you? Yeah, I don't climb. No climbing. I thought I need to find it. It's here. It's promise me. No more climbing. 
Promise me. 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 Yeah. I, I would say, you know, what happened in episode one might have traumatized him a bit. More than a bit. He probably misses his mom a lot. That's probably why I saw her. The most extraordinary man they've ever had. And they've had a lot of men. We're talking about the same Podrick. Pipe boy <sighs> in Lord Tyrion's service seems a. Podrick did pipe? What did he do to them? I don't know, wow. my lord. The girls are usually quite descriptive. So what did they say? It was hard to describe. Bro, is Podrick fucking Johnny Sins? Like, what could he have possibly done? Bro, is Podrick like Johnny Sins' great grandfather? Like. <laughs> What's Sansa's dad? He hasn't spoken oh, yeah. to her since the last time, as far as I know. But I don't think he's lost interest. He's, he's giving it time. His shipboard inventory. Hmm. See? You can read rare. What do his letters say? Former profession? Of course. No, she's retired. I'm missing something obvious you're about to point out. Two feather beds. He's bringing two feather beds for the cabin. Mm. Oh, okay, he's bringing Sansa. See, guys, that's literally me every episode. And besides, Littlefinger, could he be bringing one of his girls? He's not Sansa? interested in them, my lord. Not yeah. Either. Because I'm one of his girls. Drinking wildfire would turn him into a dragon. <laughs> he was wrong. Jesus, you drink wildfire? Are you sure Lady Marjorie doesn't find all this a bit macabre? I know it's quite yeah. a it, it's it's a bit macabre, yeah. Whatever the fuck that means. We can to keep our sons from the grave. They do seem to yearn for it. He showers them with good sense. And it slides right off like rain up a wing. That's what Cersei is trying to do to Joffrey. Sometimes severity is the price we pay for greatness. Damn. I couldn't agree more. Shut up, Joffrey. She's playing him so fucking good. Oh, another fucking rebellion? What's going on? I know how they feel about you. Yeah, they fucking hate you. You led the defense of King's Landing. Okay. Privately, no. Open the doors. Oh god, she, she is it, oh god. Oh yeah, she gives her say like yeah, your son's fucking dead look. Oh, they love Marjorie. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind, maybe they do love Joffrey. Okay, yeah, she, I guess she did speak with them. She's winning over Joffrey really well. I said my father knew what they were doing to me. Did he? I, I don't know, my lord. He did. They, they never told me much. Yeah, so Theon, okay, well, I think Theon's dad definitely know. And he just let that shit happen. We don't need to hide from them. Not all those your sister's men. Some of them are loyal to your father. Okay, I... It feels like a trap. Thought I was a Stark. <laughs> okay. I could never be a Stark. That's why I don't like him. Rob Stark Duh. always reminded me of that. He loved no, it. All he had to do was... Be. Wow. So he's envious of Rob. Want to be. Yeah, he wants to be a rock. better than his clothes. He's so confused. Someone like that, it'll be a brother to me. Dude, he he loved you like a brother though. He wanted you to be his choice, and I made it. God damn it, Theon. I could never be a star. <laughs> born. That's what I was born to be. Dude, it it is not your destiny to be an Ironborn. Fuck all that. The Iron Christ for him to fuck. Yeah. Where did those boys? They're still there. And found them. Okay. Just some poor orphans living with a farmer. Yeah. Yeah, we knew, we knew about that. I let Dagma slit their throats. <clears throat> and I 
let him burn the bodies. So I could keep Winterfell. And make my father proud. And your father would never give a shit. Dude, I My real father lost his head at King's Landing. I made a Dang. choice. Ned, he's like my Ned. And I chose wrong. Dude, thank you for coming to your senses. I mean, yeah, you fucked up pretty big. I don't know if there's any coming back from that. She's up here. I feel like she's not up here. But I love how Theon's just coming to his senses. Shh. It just... What the fuck is this? He, he killed the others. What? No, I what didn't. You? you can't. I knew this was a fucking trap. What? I knew it. What? Oh my god. Dude, fuck this guy. Like, what? What was the point of that? What? You just wanted to set? You wanted to help him escape and then get others killed so they can torture him even more? Fuck you, dude. Oh my god, I dude, it seems so sus. It seems so sus. Uh, god damn it, dude. I feel so bad for Theon, dude, because, like, at least he's self aware enough to realize where he went wrong and how he got lost in his own head. But. Man. To take revenge. Okay. Hell yeah. Revenge. Yeah, you do. Fortune. Lost. My sword That's, hand. I was that hand. It's not that bad. You have a taste. Wrong taste of the real world. Where people have important things taken from them. And you whine and cry and quit. You sound like a bloody woman. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she's trying to hype him up a little bit. So he can help her escape too. Because, like, she's probably going to need him if there's anything left of him, you know? But he just seems like a shell of himself now. It's called the Sapphire Isle because of the blue of its water. You knew that. Yeah, we, we knew he was fucking Gavin. Why did you help me? So he could get out like without her he can't get out and without him she probably can't get out so that's kind of like why they feel like they need to help each other also he did he probably just did feel bad for her too but she probably feels bad for him too but she's like i still need him to get to get out of here alive so i hope that makes sense did it ever occur to you that your daughter might be the only one listening to them living by them that she might have the most to contribute to your legacy that you love so much more than your actual children no she feels left out like he loves his sons more than her just because they're his sons you know the Tyrells helped us defeat Stannis Baratheon the Tyrells saved your life your children's lives Marjorie has her claws in Joffrey <laughs> I, I called it. I didn't call it, but... Manipulate him. Good. Yes, she does. I oh. wish you knew how to manipulate him. <laughs> I don't distrust you because you're a woman. I distrust you because you're not as smart as you think you are. You've allowed that boy to ride roughshod over you and everyone else in this city. Yeah, put him in his fucking place. Okay. Well, so Tywin sees Marjorie manipulating him as a you good thing. Try stopping him from doing what? Yeah, I could try it. Yeah, he probably will. But, okay, he sees it probably as a good thing. Because, you know, he'll be checked. He'll be... He, like, he probably thinks Marjorie, will, the Tyrells, will do the right thing. Make him do the right thing. But Cersei thinks, like, no, it's... She's gonna fuck him over. So... But, yeah, I, I feel like Tywin will put Joffrey in his place. Pretty damn hard. 
He'll stop him from doing the things he likes. We do not so strong, strong those houses you watch out for. Dire. Personally welcome you to King's Landing. The city has been made brighter by your presence. The city is made brighter by my presence. Is that your usual line, Lord Varys? You here to seduce me? Jesus. Oh no, please. Oh. Seduce So? Might I sit? No. <laughs> She's not having it at all. clever man. I'm curious why you sought me out. Yeah, what do you want from me? That's what she's thinking. Eyes came running to tell you. Why shouldn't I take an interest? She's an interesting girl. Is she? No, not particularly. <laughs> she's had an interesting childhood. She has. Sadly. Yeah. Well, forgive me for wasting your time then. I thought we shared certain hopes for her well-being. Come, come. You surrender rather easily. No, 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 no. He, that was a... That was a chess move. Shrubbery does too. I choose my allies carefully, and mm -hmm. my enemies more carefully still. Which is Sansa Stark? Neither. A babe in the woods. I admired her father. Yes. Ned Stark had many admirers. And how many yeah, me too. I admired him. Why have you come to me with this matter? Littlefinger was born with no lands, no wealth, no armies. He has acquired the first two. How long before he has the army? Perhaps you'll laugh. Hmm. If Rob Stark falls, Sansa Stark is the key to the north. And if Littlefinger marries her, he'll have the key in his pocket. I mean, yeah, that's true. You're a clever man, Lord Varys. You are too kind. I believe I have a possible solution. One doesn't need to be clever for that. It's all rather obvious, isn't it? Okay, so Lord Varys thinks that Baelish is trying to just take over. Which, yeah, that could be, but also, I mean, I thought he was trying to use Sansa to get to his mom, Kat. But maybe Lord Baelish also has these plans, too. Like, I'm going to fuck over Lord Baelish because it's going to make King's Landing better. And he, he doesn't serve anyone. He serves the realms. Okay, so maybe that's why he tried out her right there. Children and live in a castle by the sea. It's all terribly frustrating. I'm sure she's jealous of you now. You'll be married here in the capital, and Dude. she'll have to come. What? Marjorie. Marjorie has a lot of charisma. <laughs> I want us to be friends, good friends. Dude, I want to be friends. You must see High Garden. You'd love it there. I know you would. I don't think the Queen would let me leave King's Landing. The Queen Regent, you mean? Once I marry Joffrey, I'll be Queen. Yeah, I'll let you out of here. You were to marry Loras. Ooh, I read the subtitles before she said it. Your face would be at High Garden, wouldn't it? We would be okay. sisters, you and I. Would you like this? Wow, good for Sansa, man. Laura seems like a good dude. And that would probably keep her in King's Landing. I think High... Okay, when she... When he said the High Garden... When she said the High Garden, I think that's just a spot in King's Landing. So that's... That could be a totally different place. I'm pretty sure that's just in King's Landing, though. So, she would stay in King's Landing if she married Dolores. So... Maybe that was her play... Because her, her mom could have told her, hey, Baelish wants to take her out. They didn't show us that, but that could have happened off screen. And that's her play to keep Sansa here. We shall never see his like again. And now his watch is ended. Aw, oh, R.I.P. And now his watch is ended. Damn. Craster starved him to death. Craster's got his daughter. Damn, that's fucked up. He starved him to death. Down to a feast of hammer potatoes and laugh at us. Starving in the yeah. snow. Kill him. He's a bloody wildling, is all he is. Mm -hmm. and I see the look in your eyes. Kill him. Good. Damn. They, all right, he's smelling good. You know, they're they're hungry. He's about to, he's about to start eating the dead bodies. You know, like they said, I don't think like season one or something. Don't you moment. I had my ninety nine. Damn. You ever meet a man with 99 sons? 
I'm more just 99 sons. Oh my god. I'll leave them if you've not the stomach. And I'll sort them myself. Oh my god. Whose throat are you gonna cut, old man? Yeah, Carl, tell him. Wait outside. I, I see the subtitles. Nothing to eat. My wives give you bread. The sawdust in the bread. Oh, you don't yeah. like it. You go out there and eat the snow. What is he gonna do if they all just try and kill him? Well, you've got hidden away. Yeah. Stand up to him. Mormon, shit down. I gotta feed my women. So you admit you've got a hidden larder then? How else you make it through winter? Enough. Yeah, buddy. Give us the fucking food. Dreamers. You're a stingy bastard. Bastard. Oh my god. How do you get your little thief? And you? And you? Dude, what if they all just gang up on him? He, he can't do shit. Stop the hands of the next man who calls me bastard. Bastard. Fuck you. Kill him. Come on. If they all just fight him right now, they got him. Sam, you can just you can just step outside for this fight. Okay. I like Carl. You are I like lost. Oh! A daughter Come on. King, wildling bastard. <laughs> Let's go, Carl. Come on, Carl. <laughs> Yes! 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 Yes, Carl! Shout out, Carl. Whoa. By all the land of yours beyond the wall. Now show us where he hides his food, or you'll get the same as he did. On hand, uh, I shall have Carl, your head. Don't. Oh, what? He didn't need more, but they need to die. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, this got out of hand. Wait. Oh, he didn't die? He survived that? He, what, okay. Oh, everyone's just killing each other. Everyone's just killing each other. This is bad. This is horrible. Alright, Sam. Yeah, Sam, get out of there. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Mormon. Yeah, he did get stabbed. Yeah. Damn, dude. I don't want, I don't want him to die. thought he was a good leader. Okay. 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 We have to go now. I, I did say something was gonna happen. I did say it was gonna be because of Sam. It wasn't because of Sam, but it's because of Carl. But okay, okay. Sam and her get out of there, but they're beyond the wall, so maybe they'll just get like one of the whites. Oh well. my god. I'll be cutting okay. your throat one of these nights. <sighs> okay. Dude, okay, okay. R.I.P. Mormon. Probably R.I.P. Carl. I know that's the I know it's the first time we ever seen Carl, I think. But I don't know. I like this. I like his accent, if I'm being honest. So, but whatever. <sighs> and now that dude's coming for fucking Sam. Bring a crooked spear makes you a soldier. No. Fighting in a war makes you a soldier. Beric Dundarian. Am I, am I supposed to know who this is? Again. Okay. Stop deserters. Baratheon okay. deserters. You lot aren't yeah. fighting in a war, you're running from it. Last I heard, you were okay, they... Joffrey's guard dog. But here you so are. So these are all just deserters from every place. Okay. You're fighting for ghosts. That's what we are. Ghosts. Waiting for you in the dark. You can't see okay. us. Oh, is that it? I've been reborn in the light of the one true God. As have we all. As would any. Okay, okay. Tribe. I never touched the Targaryen babes. I never saw them. Never smelled them. Never heard them bawling. You want to cut my throat? Get on with it! But don't call okay. me murderer. My friend. Yeah, he, was he 12 did. 12 years old. 
He was unarmed, and you rode him down. You slung him over your horse like he was some deer. Aye, he was up to that it That is true. I do remember that. Not killing this boy. I was Joffrey's sworn shield. The boy attacked the prince. That's a lie. I hit Joffrey. Micah just yeah. ran away. Then I should have. Yeah. Not my place to question princes. Yeah, I remember that. You stand accused of murder, but no one here knows the truth of the charge. So it is not for us to judge you. Only the Lord of Light may do that now. I sentence you to trial by combat. He's winning. Doesn't who, who's gonna beat him? Yeah, who's gonna beat him? He's gonna win. If your fire guard really loves you, priest, or you archer, or you worth with a sword in your hand. Is it gonna be like Melisandre's demon? That's like the only thing that's that's gonna beat him. Some shit like that. It's gonna. It's not gonna be a. It's not gonna be a person. You might be. Okay. Okay. But it's me you'll fight. Oh, okay. He's been training, so he sounds confident in that. Okay. The master says they are untested. He says you would be wise to blood them early. There are many. Nah. We don't do that here. I can't I can't believe she's gonna I don't I don't did no way she does it. This dragon's not gonna respect them, and because he's gonna treat it like shit. And sh <laughs> yeah, the dragon wants to be with her, not with so. Kill this guy. Vetra, he vetra just parades. Divi to magis. Zadrizes buzdaris kos daor. Yeah. Dragon son of slave. I dude, I I thought she has been, but she's speaking Valerian. Okay, I thought she was speaking Targaryen. That's why the translator looked. Okay, so she's she knew what this fool's been saying this entire time. Okay, she's had that look in her eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Dracaris. Dude, I fucking knew it. Dude, this is the first thing I got right. Holy shit. Holy shit, this is the first thing I got right. Let's fucking go. Dude, you know what? I did think about saying that's so that's cool. That's a great shot. I did think about saying the dragon's just gonna fucking f light this dude on fire and just lynch him. I don't know if I said that like earlier in the episode, but I thought about saying it again and I didn't. So next time, I'm just gonna fucking say what I think is gonna happen. Cause... <laughs> okay. I got it right. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Only took three seasons. Only took uh, up to 24 episodes to get something right. Damn. So she did fi So she really just finessed them. Alright. Let's fucking go, Khaleesi's. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, I don't think any of them are gonna leave. That's f oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Yeah, now, okay, yes. They wanna fight for her as free men. Cause they respect her and... Okay, let's fucking go. Yes! Yes! Let's fucking go. There we go. 
Hell yeah. That's how you get a real army, you know? Uh, that's how you get a real army, you know? <sighs> like, they want to fight for you. And they want to die for you. Damn. And we got all three dragons. Okay. Well. Yeah. Dude, Khaleesi's just fucking finesse them. I was right. <laughs> okay, okay. Dude, honestly, episode three has just been banger, 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 banger so far. Been really good episodes. And you guys did say it, episode three really picks up. So, I feel like a lot of shit has happened. <laughs> okay, so let me know how I did. Uh, not drinking anything this time, completely sober, even though I don't even drink that much. Just nothing this entire episode. So let me know if I caught a, lot, a couple more things than normal. I feel like I did a pretty, I feel like I did a little bit of a better job, but okay, anyway. So, so Tyrion, in the beginning of the episode, Tyrion wanted proof that Cersei tried to have him killed from Varys, and Varys like, look, there's no proof, it's just what my spies told me. And then he was like, blah, blah, went on kind of a rant about like the sorcerer and how he fucking has a sorcerer now or whatever. And like how he hates magic and shit. I thought he was kind of hinting at like Melisandre, but then he did, then he elaborated, say, that's why I helped you so much with, um, in the Battle of Blackwater, because, you know, with Stannis and Melisandre, he, he kind of knew about that. So he's like, okay, that's why I helped you. So, okay. And then, so Tyrion and the Sorcerer and Varys, I guess they're going to get uh, revenge on Cersei somehow. Um, uh, maybe they're going to give birth to another little demon baby. Um, don't know how they would, but maybe. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Okay, and then Baelish is headed to Eerie. I think that's what it's called. I think I pronounced it right. But he's headed there, and Roz was just like, hey, he's taking two beds for the cabin. He's bringing Sansa with him, which, okay, it does make sense, because like, I don't think he would, I don't think he really gives a shit about women. You know, he just has an interest in Sansa, not like romantically or anything. But he could, like Varys did point out later in the episode, he could use her to take over the North again if Rob falls. Hopefully he doesn't. But he could use her for that. And also, I think he could also use her to get closer to Catelyn Stark because he's just, he's a simp for her. So, you know, two things right there. Maybe mine doesn't really hold up as well as what Very said. But, and then Podrick was, I guess Podrick did lay the pipe, bro. Podrick just literally, literally Johnny sends his great, 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 great grandfather. Something like, like, dude, that must just be a, you know, a generational thing. Like, they just passed down that knowledge. And Johnny Sins was born in today's world. But, okay, anyway. Okay, and then Theon, like, I love how Theon just realizes where he went wrong. But then again, yeah, it, it is way too late, you know? Like, he did say, like, he was jealous of Rob the entire nine years that they grew up. But then he did say Ned Stark was my real father. Because Ned, Ned actually cared about him, you know? Like, he just, I mean, he made it seem like Ned cared about him and actually took care of him, you know? Even though Theon was technically, like, a prisoner, did still take really good care of them. And, like, Theon's like, I can never be a Stark. I can't live in there. And it's like, yeah, from Theon's perspective, he just feels rejected by everyone, by his own family, by the Starks. But in reality, it's like, I'm pretty sure the Starks wanted him there. Like, the Starks wanted Theon. And he just never really saw it that way. And he just, he wants to prove to his dad that he is a Greyjoy. He's a true-blooded Greyjoy, but then, so then he just made a stupid decision by trying to take over Winterfell, and he, he, he knows he didn't kill Bran or Rickon, or Rickon, and he killed those two orphan boys instead, and he just feels insane, just a tremendous amount of guilt for it, and I'm sure if he could, now he wishes he could go back and redo that, and just never team up with his dad in the first place, so, but then it, now it's like it's too late for that, so, man, nah, that sucks. Hopefully, hopefully it works out. I don't know. And then that dude who was like, yeah, your sister sent me. Fuck that guy. Like, like okay, I knew it was kind of sus. Like, I had a feeling it was sus. Because it was just like... Like, I was like, this looks like the same place they were just at. And he was just being hella weird about everything, dude. So, fuck that guy. Now I'm just going to torture Theon. I think he'd let Theon go. Just so they could kill those... Uh, that squad that was sent after him and he'd be like oh Theon killed more people let's torture him some more I, I don't know 
like I don't really see the point besides that really because he just hates Theon like maybe there's a greater reason behind it but he looked like he was getting enjoyment out of Theon being tied up and tortured so maybe he yeah he just hates Theon and he just wanted to do that fuck that guy I love the Theon character development I hope he makes it a, a quite a long way in the show I really hope he does but after this episode, I don't, I don't know if he's gonna make it. Because, because uh, our boy Commander Mormon, man, guy. And then like, okay, so the scene with Big B and Jamie, like I kind of already explained while while I was watching. I feel like Big B kind of is like, okay, I she's like, I feel bad for Jamie, but I also I might I need him to get, so I can get out of here alive. So I'm gonna make sure he has some confidence and we can do this. And yeah, she does feel a little bit bad for him. I think that's just kind of why she's like being nice to him. Cause Jamie's straight up demoralized. <laughs> he is like, I am not, I was that hand. He literally said, I was that hand, which is true. But he, Jamie just needs to get back up on his feet. Like that, that's it. Okay, anyway. Yeah, and then Mormont, the commander, got fucking just waxed. I'm very happy. I think that dude's name was Caster. Or something like that who had all the you know the daughters and the sons i'm so happy he died shout out carl dude shout out carl mm, you know dude he reminds me of carl he specifically remind me of someone and i can't like i i can't put the name in my head like i have a an image of who he reminds me of but i can't think of their name if i remember while i'm editing i'll put the the picture of the person i'm remembering on the screen uh, but yeah, okay. I'm so happy Carl did something to him, but it kind of turned the night the Night's Watch against each other Because it made that one dude who just hates Sam kill the commander too And so then everyone's like, oh, you just killed the commander. I'm gonna kill you and then they're like, oh shit We're gonna, you know, everyone just started fighting And so RIP the Night's Watch, like I guess and then not really I'm sure they'll be fine not not right not this squad specifically but they'll be fine overall um you, you know what's funny as soon as john left that just went straight down okay anyway yeah and then that dude okay i don't know his name but the dude who's just so negative he just wants to kill sam and eat him because sam's a bigger guy but fuck that guy and then yeah sam was like hey we need to get to the girl he's in love with he's like hey we need to get the fuck out of here and they just ran off somewhere so i was kind of right when I said um, something's gonna happen to them and it's just gonna fall apart. Now, the, um, the prediction I had on why that was gonna happen wasn't accurate at all. So, but it, it was on the same page, kinda. Any, but anyway, so maybe Sam and her, I'm sure they'll be fine, honestly. Maybe they'll run into some whites. I don't know, I think they'll be fine. And then Khaleesi's finesse the Valerian, okay. So, yeah, when she started speaking Valerian to the um, to her her army slash slaves or whatever, and you know, I I did notice the translator like whip her head around a bit. What? And I thought Khaleesi's was speaking Dothrakian at first, and I was like, why would that make her flip her head? But then she said, I I've known Valerian my entire life, so she knew exactly what this fool was saying the entire time, and she kind of did give those like subtle like looks, you know, like oh I know what this fool's fucking saying, but I'm just gonna go with it just so I can get what I want. She kind of did give that vibe away. So yeah, she totally finessed them. So I, I was right. She's going to be like, look, as soon as she gets control of the army, she's going to kill him immediately. <laughs> and she did. She turned them against him. So power move by Khaleesi's, you know, and then honestly, even more respect to her after she was like, look, all of you can leave as free men. If you want, you'll be unharmed. You have my word. But if you want to stay and fight for me, do it stay just, you're more than welcome to stay and none of them left so that's a true leader right there i love to see it by khaleesi's love to see it love to see it anyways that's just what i noticed from season three episode four comment down below what you thought about this episode did i do a better job since i didn't have a drink and what did i miss i'm sure i missed some stuff too so anyways if you like the video like the video thanks for watching